Hello world, it's Cece, and it has been far too long since I have last talked with you all. So what I have today is just kind of like a collection of videos, some things that I recorded, some places I went to eat. Uh, my friend Sarah came and visited with me, and um, oh, I made some really good banana pancakes. So keep watching and see the latest things going on in my world, and I will try to be more regular. Um, getting out my videos to you all. I hope you had a wonderful April and uh, I'm so glad it is warm again and summer will be here soon but spring is in full harmony here in the Ohio area. Talk to you soon and in the meantime keep smiling. Good morning everyone. It is April 24th. It is a Saturday and I am just kind of getting things done that I need to get done around the house. Let me turn this water off because that's making a lot of unnecessary noise. Anyways, um, I discovered something this morning that I um, had that I didn't realize I had. I'm going to show you here in my cabinet. move this over here and then I'm going to show you this coffee maker that I forgotten years ago I had purchased at a garage sale and it is here look at this I hope you can see it okay it's by Faberware it's a coffee grinder it makes espresso and then just a regular cup of coffee as well and I'm like so excited. And if you look here, I only paid $2 for this and they purchased it for 60. So yeah, I'm extremely excited about this. And it just goes to show that if you just look around your house, you'd be amazed at stuff that you've forgotten you've purchased. And yeah, <laughs> it's a wonderful thing. So here I've been wanting like a little coffee grinder. I've been wanting to replace this coffee pot. This I bought for $10. It just makes one cup of coffee. It's been serving me well. It's not the best cup of coffee, but hey, it was great. <laughs> it's been great. It's been serving me for now a mm, year and a half, maybe two years. Definitely a year and a half. But um, yeah, I'm so excited about that. So I just thought I'd share that with you real quick. And I guess I'll chit chat with you as the day progresses. Um, I am doing what I call 15 minute cleaning. So every 15 minutes, I take up a little project and I go as fast as I can and as thoroughly as I can taking care of it. So right now I'm cleaning my kitchen in 15 minute increments and then after my 15 minutes I sit down for 10 minutes and I read on my novel. So hopefully I am relaxing, enjoying my time and getting a whole lot done and so far I've been doing really good. So that is it. I'm going to attempt right now 15 minutes to take care of these dishes clean the stove off, take the garbage out, and the next 15 minutes I'll tack the floor. I think I want to uh, do a good scrubbing of the floor and get to this here window seal that is very, very dirty from the winter months. And yeah, a little bit of spring cleaning. Couldn't hurt. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Hey everybody, so yeah, I'm still looking a hot mess, but I wanted to talk to you or share with you what I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to wash my hair. Um, I don't know if, I probably didn't tell you, I chopped my hair off. I'm chopping my relaxer out, all the damage I have in the center of my head. I just got a lot of breakage, so I ended up just cutting, 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 and now I can't do too much with my hair, but I wanted to show you what I am going to use. I'm using this. Shea Moisture Omega 3 and it has Omega 3, 6, and 9 in it. And so this is what I'm going to put in my hair mask. And after I use this in my hair, then I'm going to put in this leave-in conditioner by Shea Moisture. Um, because I like this particular line of Shea Moisture. 
um, I have been using this product here, but unfortunately, I'm afraid what I've been doing wrong is that I have been putting in a gel, and then by the end of the day, this gel that I was using was drying my hair out and making it brittle and breaking it. So that was a big problem. So I'm going to shampoo with this, because this is what I have. <laughs> and um, after I put in the leave-in, the style and grow, then I'm going to put a little bit of this in and do um, a scrunch style for today. And I will come back and let you see how that all worked out and go from there. And I will be dressed the next time you see me <laughs> for the day. Okay, friends, I got myself all dialed up and ready. You see my hair came out really nice. It's a little crunchy, but that's okay. I've got my curls um, with the scrunching. I'm getting ready to go out because my girlfriend, Sarah, is here. And so let's go meet Sarah. She's coming to visit. And there she is getting out of her car. Hello, Sarah. Look at her, looking all cute. Wow. <laughs> hey. Look at you, looking all stylish. Yes. <laughs> oh, so good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Hey, so it's Sunday, and I'm in my kitchen. It's around 12.30. And I'm hungry, very, very hungry. So what I decided to do is I saw this recipe that um, for banana pancakes, I guess everybody's probably seen them. You put a banana, you put an egg, you fry it. Well, they're really thin when I've seen them. And when I've made them before, they're really thin. So I thought I'd add one more ingredient, actually two ingredients. I added um, just a little drop of vanilla extract for flavor. And then I added... Um, rolled oats and I just put like a fourth of a cup maybe um maybe it was an eighth of a cup it wasn't much and I put it in my food processor and I whipped it up um till it was almost like powdery so as you can see here it kind of looks like a bowl of porridge and I am going to put it on the pan like pancakes and I'll show you what that looks like um in a minute Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've put it in a pan. It's on medium heat. I put butter in the pan because, well, everything is just better with butter. And I'm trying to do something where it's like gluten-free, so it is rolled oats, um, just pure oats. And yeah, I'm just going to fry these up or see how they cook up, and I'll show them to you when it's done and see how they taste because I wanted something a little more filling. So here I flipped one, and it's nice and golden, like a regular pancake should be. They, as you can see, they kind of have these little holes in them, um, just like a pancake would do. And I'm hoping that that's what the oats are going to do for them, give them more of a bready consistency. So far, it's looking really good. I have flipped them all, and the one thing I have noticed is if they are not ready to be flipped, they will stick to the pan. So like this one here wasn't quite ready, so I had to scrape it off. Um, but this one here, you can see it's got a nice um, bready look to it. And this one does too. Um, but this one came off better because like you see here, the golden, that's with this one as well as that one. So they're coming along really well. I can't wait to taste it. I doubt I'll need anything like syrup or sweetener on it. Um, but I'm just going to... Taste it as it is. You see here, I've plated it up. They have, um, this. it smells just like banana bread. It's hilarious. They have a nice breadiness to them. So it looks really tasty. Okay, and now for the taste test. Mmm. Okay. It tastes really good. But the texture is not smooth like you would a bread. And yeah, I can just kind of like chew the oats in there with the mix with the bananas. They're kind of chewy. So it has a texture almost like cottage cheese, 
but because it's not liquidy, it's dry, and it's tolerable. Because I don't like the texture of cottage cheese. So if you don't like the texture of cottage cheese, you kind of know what I mean. It um sort of falls apart in little little pieces, curd-like pieces. But the flavor is absolutely fabulous. So give it a try. I'll put the ingredients or and directions in the description box so you can give it a shot. Thank you.